Hello everyone, in this chapter we will learn about refraction. We will learn what is refraction, why refraction occurs and then we will derive a formula of refraction that we will be able to use when we will write our refraction shader. You might have heard about refraction in school and you might have seen similar images like this where the straw bends in the water. And this happens because of refraction and this is what we are going to understand today. As in the previous chapters, we understood that to be able to see something, light should fall on the surface of object. It should hit the surface and should be reflected and come back to our eyes. And that's when we see the object. And for that, light wave or light has to travel in the medium such as air. Similarly, when we see the sunrise, we start seeing it 8 minutes 20 seconds later than actual sunrise as the sunlight takes that much time to travel from the sun across the vacuum of space to reach to the earth. Light travels with different speed in every medium due to different optical density of the medium itself. And because of this fact, refraction occurs. Refraction is a phenomena of bending of light wave when it enters a new medium. So if this is medium 2 and this is medium 1 and light is coming in this direction, ideally it should pass through in the same direction. But because of refraction, it bends and it will come out in another medium, it will bend again. When light wave enters a new medium, not only its direction changes, but its speed changes as well. And depending on the medium, it either speeds up or speeds down. The amount of bending of light depends upon indices of refraction of two media. And now we have heard about this new term of index of refraction or indices of refraction or refractive index. In the simple terms, refractive index of every medium is a number that defines how much light will bend in that medium. And it is determined by comparing the velocity of light in vacuum with the velocity of light in the medium. So index of refraction is defined by velocity of light in vacuum and velocity of light in medium. So it's a ratio of velocities of light in vacuum and medium. The velocity of light and the speed of light is highest in vacuum because vacuum is nothing. There is no particle to hinder the speed of light in vacuum. So it's a, it is an empty space. It is an absolute empty space where light can travel with the maximum speed. And the refractive index of vacuum itself is 1. So now we understand what is refraction, what is refractive index. And the third step is to understand or derive the equation of refraction. So suppose this is the surface of new medium. This is the intersection point of medium 1 and medium 2. This is medium 1 and this is medium 2. And this arrow here is the normal of medium 2 because if this is the surface of medium 2, this is its normal. And we have an incidence ray falling in this direction and we call it I. When this ray enters this new medium, it bends and this is a refracted ray. When we consider them as vectors, so this is the normal vector, this is the incidence ray vector and this is the refracted vector. When we create the scene in the CG, in the computer graphics or in Unity engine, we know the incidence ray because we know the light direction in the scene we know the normal of the surface and what we will have to find out is a refraction vector. So this is what we will have to find out and what we have is this and this. 
So we know the normal of the surface. We know the direction of light falling on the surface of the object. And this is all we will have to figure out. And in this complete derivation, we are going to use some of the tools, some of the formulas that we will need to complete this derivation. And one of the formula is sine square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1. This is one of the Pythagorean identities. Similarly, we have other formulas which we don't need, but I'm just referring them because these three formulas are used in several derivations. 1 plus 10 square theta is equals to sec square theta. And the third one is 1 plus cot square theta is equals to cosec square theta. You don't have to worry about these two. But what we need is sine square theta plus cos square theta is 1. Another tool that we would need is we have already studied before. We need the formula.